Who are the cello makers that did the most for the cello? And who do you look up to of the, of the classics? We're here in Cremona. Well, in Cremona, uh, now I should say Stradivari, but it is not true. Stradivari made in, I think it was two years, he made all his, uh, his eight or 15 the cellos. Era, yeah. And that was it. So yeah. certainly if I, if I happen to have a Stradivari cello now, I would also, um, would, I agree that people are willing to pay millions, millions, 20 millions or even more. Uh, but still, the best cello makers are not here in Cremona. They were actually out of Cremona. So probably the, 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 the cello which gave me the most uh, uh, energy when I was looking at it was a Peter Guarnieri from Mantova. That was such a big, strong cello with thick layer of original varnish on top of it. And I saw it in America. I think it was in Baltimore. But, and the best sounding, certainly, uh, Domenico Montagnana from Venice. A lot of people think that you have to have an old instrument to have a good sounding instrument. And there are documentaries, there's one documentary I know of, where they did a you know, double blind test of some luthiers, it's in French, um, it's called the Mystery of the Stradivarius. And they took some, a music critic, a, a layman, a luthier, and, and a professional violinist. And they, they blindfolded the violinist, and he was there behind, so. He couldn't see what he was playing. It was blinded, so they didn't see what they were watching. And you don't, you're not told when you put, here's the Stradivari, so your ears are gonna like be biased. And when they all did their blind tests in the end, it was unanimous. Every single one of them chose the modern uh -huh. violin. Would you like to know which one was which? Yes. The one you all liked was the Fustier. <laughs> It's pretty amazing that we were all taken in like that. There was one video, and I'm happy for that video, that now it's, uh, we have a lot of advertising for modern instruments. Uh, I actually I, I would love to see everybody buying modern instruments. This is for sure, because I make them right now. <laughs> but you play on a cello of mine made in 2002, mm -hmm. and the one I showed you today was made 2018, right? And when you were checking them out, we had a, a difference. On one side, that one is everything perfectly adjusted, and in yours, we have to do two, three things. But still, beside that, we could hear a certain difference. And this certain difference is exactly the point where I would say, if you're live in front of it, you hear it, and I appreciate it. So now saying that, all modern instruments sound better than an antique one, I don't really uh, agree. Uh, you, you really have to look from one instrument to another. Mm. And uh, it's, 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 it's more a, diff it's a bigger question, actually, because usually people who can afford to buy an antique instrument they say antique is better, so I go for antique. Mm. And then what are they going? They search for an economic, affordable antique instrument. And what do they buy? A lemon. Mm. Because exactly that is what everybody wants. And for little money, for 20, 30 or 40,000, you just get lemons. Yes. Believe me, it's not because I'm nasty, but I, I can see even here in town, they sell like for 40 or 50,000 euros. German instruments without the label and people buy it yes, only because it's because old. old. But something where there's no name in and you don't know who made it is nothing worth. It's just a German cello and that's it. You know, this is a Sachse, this has no real value and these made instruments, big mass, has a nice antique appealing but there's no value be behind that. So if I would be uh, now as somebody who's searching for a cello, I would immediately go searching for a violin maker like me. Now, or one of the other 160 or even in France, in Toulouse, there's so many nice makers around. Search for a mo maker, go there. You don't like him, search for another one, you know. Until you find one you can identify, you meet him, you see him working, you ask, is already sold, not sold, can I try it when it's ready? Try it and buy it, you know, it's so easy. And then take a picture with him 
it's it's more worth than any certificate, you know.